to do another one? To do another one. What's up, y'all? So, I just want to address things as they come. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B. Octavia. Welcome to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is B. Octavia. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm also an entrepreneur. Crush on You Beauty will be back this month, just in time, okay? Just in time for the holidays. So make sure that if you shop anywhere for cosmetics, lip gloss will be back. If you shop skincare anywhere, if you shop jewelry anywhere, shop with me. You know, men can shop too, because I know y'all got women or, you know what I'm saying, somebody you trying to get with or whatever the case is, right? Get some crush on you, beauty, while supporting my dream, okay? So, and I also have my Amazon wish list. Now, I have two separate wish lists, okay? I have one for YouTube needs. If you want to invest in my YouTube journey. And I also have a crush on you beauty wish list that is solely for items for my business if you want to invest into my business if you want to see things get better you know with quality and just things like that make sure that you check out both lists support and yeah so in today's video now today's video was requested by a homegirl of mine okay because if y'all over here and y'all watching every day and y'all vibe with me i vibe with y'all if you a girl you my homegirl okay and if you a guy you my mans okay not my man you my mans uh, all right <laughs> Now, I'm feeling good, okay. So, a homegirl of mine, she sent me this, and I've seen it all over Instagram. It was covered on the shade room where Casanova, the rapper from New York, is saying he's from New Jersey, but I thought he was from Brownsville or what's that shit called? Whatever the from New York, but I don't know. So, um, I've been seeing this all over Instagram. There was a warrant out for his arrest. And, um, an indictment came down on Tuesday. It came down on 18 people. Now, these 18 people, the feds say that they are a gang. They have all been charged with racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearms, and other fraud offenses now if y'all don't know this about casanova if y'all don't know him y'all never watched his interviews he's a very charismatic guy you know um and he has no problem with talking about his past and what he went through as far as i believe he did a bid for about eight to ten years already you know and then he came out and his rap career has been on the rise ever since so with that being said i remember seeing an interview where he talked about his girlfriend and i think her name is jazzy his girlfriend was pregnant at the time of his arrest when he got arrested charged and sentenced that time and did that lengthy bid okay she was pregnant so she had his child he was in jail doing a bid okay so she raised his first child up until she was about eight or ten years old and he's been out you know but she was holding it down from the start and that's a i mean when you think about that when you think about how she already did this one bid with him, right? And she might love him and shit like that, but to do another one? To do another one. 
Now, a good thing about this, a good thing about Casanova, and especially with the popularity in his name and his rap career, etc., he turned himself in fairly quick. You know, I just, I don't know what it is in me. I guess it's from the area that I'm from or whatever the case is where it's like, I just, you know, I just automatically think that somebody gonna go on a run. You know, I just automatically think that because honestly, I might, you know, I might have if I seen this shit on Instagram and whoopie woo, you know, but you got to think about it. He has what, two kids now? I really hope that this is not true. I really hope that he did not do what the feds say, but a lot of times people say, even the feds say, once they have evidence and they're building that evidence for years against you it's kind of hard to get out of that is what i'm saying so you know i don't want to say that he is guilty but i i just keep thinking about it like this right i really hope that he can prove without a doubt that he is innocent because with him already being a felon he is looking at 10 plus years behind bars and he already did that he already took so much time away from his child and now children it's like it's just too much along with this indictment there was another indictment that had g herbo and his crew involved in it and the same thing goes like he was just put in the forbes under 30 whatever right and that's amazing not only that he has been doing so much charity work and involved in the streets in a very positive way i really hope that he can prove without a doubt that he did not do this you know a lot of people are saying including casanova and other rappers are saying that rappers do have a target on their backs and i do agree with that in some type of ways i think that it's a target on their backs and it's also a magnifying glass and don't let that go over your head because i feel like more than it is a target it's a magnifying glass it's the amount of people that's watching you the amount of people that can tell the police something whether it's factual or fiction whether it's true or not true it's just so you know, the amount of people is enormous versus a regular dude that's on the street that name don't ring bells on social media name don't ring bells in the streets whether that be positive negative or positive and negative it's a magnifying glass and the same thing goes with bobby smurder you know I believe that he was involved in certain things and that magnifying glass just made it easier for the police to see it, you know? So do rappers have to move in a certain way not to be killed or to be arrested? Yes, but the same thing goes for the public as well, you know? The same thing goes for citizens who may have a reputation in a city you know the same thing goes for anybody that has an impact in the world you know all of us could possibly have magnifying glasses on us that we are not aware of so we all gotta move in a certain way that's very smart very low-key stick to the legal aspects of life you know i'm not saying that either of these men are guilty or did any of these things that they are being charged with i really just wanted to be questioning and they get let out but i really don't think that it'll be like that i don't know you know um we will see and i will be back to tell you any updates about g herbo or about casanova but until then make sure you go support my business the relaunch is happening very soon so make sure that you go check out the new website new everything just fresh you know vibes <laughs> it's your girl b octavia and i will see y'all in my next video